teacher and hope to after serving for 10 years eventually become a scientist later on or a professor later on. There is a very clear line of academic progression for teachers also if they choose to remain in the profession. But once they are in a field, let's say they're in a college or a university, the avenues are open to them as to uh, become a professional in that field. And uh, eventually we would like to see that, the seamless movement between academia and industry and people from uh, industry also uh, spending some time in the teaching profession. We hope that we can make that seamless so that the, the knowledge in each sphere can be shared with the students. And do you think NCC can truly become a regular subject at school and college levels? I believe, uh, you know, activities like the National Cadet Corps are a very, very important aspect of uh, personality and individual development for our children. And it's an institutionalized form of instilling a value system and camaraderie amongst the youngsters. And uh, right now we have about 14 lakh NCC cadets all over the country. And uh, I hope that the number will grow. On our part, what we have done is we have uh, uh, trying to make NCC an elective in our schools and colleges so that the kids also get credits for the NCC activity that they do. Do you think some teachers can get an opportunity to actually join the services as short service commission officer? No, that would be a very welcome development. But like I said, you know, we hope that, you know, to, for a, to begin with, there would be more volunteers from the teachers to become associated NCC officers. And also, you know, once they become established teachers, they would also aspire to become short service commissioned officers. Or if not uh, short service commissioned officers, at least they might get into the territorial army, which will give them exposure uh, to the armed forces. Uh, I mean, I mean the, the, it, it would be a very welcome development.